Good morning, guys. All right, so no cardio this morning uh, as it was planned yesterday. That last meal really, really worked wonders. So I'm going to be setting, sending uh, Johnny some pictures shortly, but as of right now, I'm on the way to CVS. I got to take a lift to CVS to grab some odds and ends. I forgot toothpaste. And so did Janice, yay! And what else? We forgot a couple other things. So I gotta go to CVS right now and quickly pick those up and, uh, and race back so that I can send uh, Johnny some pictures. And it's raining right now, so it's very ugly. It's supposed to, the weather's supposed to be shitty today, but tomorrow it's supposed to be much better. But we'll see. Anyways, let me get on this lift. What's up guys? So I just set up my breakfast. What I have right here is my one whole cucumber, the way that I like it with my Splenda and my cinnamon. And we're doing six whole eggs right now that I made into like almost like a omelet. I sent photos to Johnny and my weight this morning was 174. Even after all those carbs yesterday, which is good again because that means I'm not holding any water after the two gallons that I've been consuming. Uh, the issue and the reason why I have to take aldactone is because if I did that on a normal situation, the next day I probably would have been about six pounds heavier than the day before. So there's a reason why we take aldactone and I know I've been getting a lot of hating for doing it but this is exactly why I do it and this this proves why I personally have to take something like that so that I don't hold crazy amounts of water after eating carbs By the way, those were my digestive enzymes and also my mild laxative so that I can continue to go to the restroom even with all these uh, fats. Um, so we are going to pull back on carbs for the majority of the day. It's going to be more fat. And why, we, why do we do fat? Fat is to almost seal the carbohydrates in the muscle cells so that you keep that fullness and you don't your metabolism doesn't run through those carbohydrates as energy and it slows everything down a little bit uh, I'm gonna be training today after meal two so I got this meal I got one more meal that's gonna be um, fats like I think it has bacon in it it's like six six uh, bacon strips and some protein and then I'm gonna go train and meal three is gonna be uh, no fats no no uh, carbs and we're gonna see where that takes us from there uh, today I also tan and I also have to weigh in and check in and do all that fun stuff so you'll see what that process looks like and uh, crossing my fingers that they measure me correctly Because last year, for one show, for the Toronto, I'm, wait, I measured 5'6", and then three weeks later, I measured 5'4". And there's a five pound difference between being those heights. And as you know, five pounds in this uh, competitive, high, highly competitive level, low body fat levels, low water levels, everything. Five pounds is a lot. So hopefully it works out for the better. But I'm going to finish this deliciousness and uh, I will catch you on meal two. Meal number two, pre-workout. It's going to go down. I got four ounces of fish some swai, and I got six slices of bacon. Of bacon. Um, looks like we're gonna be throwing down 
possibly a post-workout meal that involves carbs. Not sure yet. Just depends on what I look like after I go to the gym and pump up. I'm going based on what my legs feel like. And if they're a little bit hard to flex, then we'll add the carbs. If not, we're just going to ride it through and just some protein fats. So uh, get this thing down. We're going to, me and uh, Janice are going to head to uh, Grandview, Grandview Gym. And they're also going to do a DEXA scan on me. Uh, they offered that for free. So why not? Why not try that? And as you can see, I used a machine shaver and I got a little irritated. Hopefully this uh, this goes away when my face hits that cold air. Can I use your backpack for my photo shoot? Yeah, take it. Okay. What's mine's is yours and... What's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. What's mine's is mine's and what's yours is mine's. That's, that's her motto to me. <laughs> All right, so oh, I'm also gonna take my digestive enzymes as well. No laxative. I went to the bathroom already, so that's awesome. Highly salted pre-workout meal. Terrible weather today. There's a light drizz going on. We're walking. We're actually, uh, it's an, uh, this is an audible. We're actually going back to Powerhouse. Just because it's more convenient. It's, a, it's right down the street. We would have had to take uh, like an Uber to get to the other gym. And Janice has to do a photo shoot. So it just made sense to just quickly get this workout in at Powerhouse and uh, and get the fuck out of there. So we're walking over there right now. And hopefully tomorrow the weather's much better than this because this, this fucking sucks. Um, yeah, wasn't it like we walked there and then up there? I don't know. Let me go with the maps. Back at the powerhouse. Let's get this workout in. Oh, here we go. Ready? What do you want me to do? Keep going. You know the pose. I think we're doing good. the same thing. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> it's a really shitty day here. This is not Pump good. was accomplished. I got a little a little shoot, mini shoot, with my man D-Ray. And uh, now we're walking back. Squat queen over here. She's got to do a photo shoot, so she's going to get ready. And while she's getting ready, I'm also going to get ready to get my tan on. See what I'm gonna eat post workout. I don't know yet if I'm gonna add carbs or not. I gotta take a look at myself. Other than that, it's still a shitty day. I hope my sh hope my tan doesn't get smeared. My tan's gonna get all fucked up with this weather. Liquid Sunrise is pretty good, so. As a matter of fact, check out Liquid Sunrise. Shameless plug. 
shameless plug to the LSR, LSR team. Also today, I trained and I worked out in my young LA swag, Arnold 20, that's the promo, 20% off. I'm gonna be rocking their shit all weekend. Okay, let's go eat. All right guys, so a quick update on what's going on right now. So I went to the gym, after the gym, I sent pictures to Johnny. Johnny liked what he saw. We opted to not do carbs because my weight was just close to about the weigh-in max. So what we did is we did uh, a no carb, just a fat meal. And we're regulating water right now, doing water every hour or so, depending on my weight. We're doing about 12 to 16 ounces per hour uh, just to make sure that I'm, st I'm pissing and I'm also consuming, replacing it pretty much back and forth to make sure that I, I ensure that I make weight. Uh, our next meal is, is going to be um, pending on what I look like after I tan. So I'm going to go now. Carlos is picking me up to tan. I'm going to go tan. And then when I come back, I'm going to take a look at what I look like, send it to Johnny. Johnny then will let me know how we should approach the next meal. Uh, probably going to be a fat meal. Um, nothing crazy, just to, again, to ensure that I make weight very easily. And then we'll, after weigh-in, which is around 7.30, 7, 7.30, after checking in, weigh-in, then we'll kind of reevaluate everything and see where, what course we need to take into tomorrow. So that right now is where we're at. And I'm just waiting for the pastor of the pump to pick my ass up. LSR, we are here to tan. Gotta get them, gotta get them. Hi. Hey, good to see Good, thanks for the awesome social media. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, just ask somebody to, um, in the phone yeah. to see that they sent me something. And the other thing was yes. Oh, no, and no, then, girl. I'll make sure oh, you get, I didn't it. get a package. So, do you like the new packaging? Do you like the yes, new Yes, this is so much better than Thank you. <laughs> All right. Pretty much a, a different race at the moment. Got two coats of uh, liquid sun rays product on and drying up now. This is, in my opinion, this is the best product uh, for tanning. I mean, they spray you. Not only is everybody nice, but they spray you. And once you dry off, I, this stuff doesn't smear on anything. Like you put on a shirt, it won't smear on the shirt. It won't smear on, you know, your sheets and stuff like that. Obviously, you probably don't want to sleep naked, but if you're wearing a jumpsuit or some, you know, old sweats and stuff, you could pretty much bet that this is not going to smear, which is pretty awesome. So I recommend at any show, if you see Liquid Sunrays there or any affiliate that's with Liquid Sunrays, take advantage of it. They are awesome. You won't, you won't regret it. I, I have promise. my own personal hair dryer holder, or hair dryer, tan dryer holder because uh, uh, something happens and uh, sometimes your body doesn't want to get dry, so it's, uh, I, got, I got a personal assistant now. The best about LSR, right here. <laughs> On the way back to the hotel right now, um, Johnny's meeting me at the, at the um, Airbnb. He's gonna take a look at me and see what we need to do next. I'm starving right now. Carlos is in the front. Yes, sir. <laughs> starving too. <laughs> He's starving too. How many grams of carbs did you have a couple days ago? Oh, well, I had 800 on Monday. 800. 800. And it went to nothing. It disappeared. And then it's all gone now. Yeah. I can't wait to have 800 for a whole month. <laughs> Calories and all right. Thank you guys at Liquid Sunrays for all these incredible products. We got the new shampoo. Can't wait to use this. And the conditioner. 
Um, you know, you guys get, gave me a shirt, some joggers. We got the new Liquid Sunrays soap. Look at that. Activated charcoal soap. It's got to smell good because all their stuff smells really good. Another shirt and a wicked snapback. I can't wait to rock this, but as of right now, my hair's done and it looks good, so I'm not gonna rock this, but I will rock it later on. But thank you guys so much. If, if you, any of you that are watching this are interested in any of their, pro, their products, go on Liquid Sunrays on um, their website and you know check it out. They have really good stuff, really good deals, and uh, they're the best in the business. brand new for us this year but we want to thank you all because each one of these classes there was a tremendous number of applicants for and uh, we had some real selection processes but you can see from this room that there is a great great swell of interest in your sports and your me method of expressing yourselves and we welcome you here this is as you know the 30th anniversary of the Arnold Classic. Beyond where we ever thought it would be. Because this year you are participating in what is the largest multi-sport festival in the world. What's up guys? So, an update. I went to Wayne and they did not measure me the height that I thought I was going to be. Every show last year, they measured me over 5'5". Five five. It seems like they measured me at 5'5 five five on the dot, which put me at the weight class under that I was anticipating the entire prep. Luckily, when, they, when I got on the scale, I was only 0.2 pounds over all I had to do was go to the restroom and pee one time and luckily I didn't have anything to eat prior to weigh-in so I guess th things happen for a reason as Johnny said things happen for a reason so we're making up for it now my body went a little bit flat after going to the gym today uh, because we didn't eat for about four hours we held off on the meal um, it seems like my body has gone through all the carbs that it had yesterday which wasn't much so now we're gonna replicate a lot of what we did yesterday with the rice cake meals and stuff probably for the final meal because I woke up as you guys saw I woke up really really gnarly looking so this is meal five right now meal five is consisting of just some swai which I put a lot of sodium in to make up because we had to we we started regulating water to a little bit of water today just in case exactly what happened at weigh-in So when you don't drink water, when you're constantly expelling water, you're depleting sodium. So now I put some soy sauce, I put some regular salt, 
I put some olive oil on this and then I'm gonna have about a cup and a half of oats which I did yesterday you guys saw my oatmeal yesterday a cup and a half of oats and then see where we're at for a meal six so that's just an update see what I look like in the it's crazy how the body <laughs> literally changes hourly but I'm gonna sign off I'm gonna eat my oats and I'll be right back all right so I took a extremely large nap after the cup and a half of oats and I woke up and my body pretty much came back to life again uh, the oats I don't know the oats did something it's, it's happened to me before back in the past when I trained with Stan uh, McQuay where I've done oats before out of nowhere and my body comes back to life that's already kind of being sluggish and you know my legs start getting a little tired and they spark back up so we're going to use that tactic tomorrow uh, with our first meal uh, essentially what's gonna happen is tonight we're going to just do a fat meal tonight before bed wake up in the morning assess the way that I look get some fluids in and we're gonna go ahead and hit it with um, hit it with a, a nice oat based carb meal and that should hold me off all the way into pre-judging uh, this pre-judging uh, situation is a little bit different than other than normal shows because pre-judging is about at 12:30 in the afternoon um, usual pre-judgings are at like 9 a.m. somewhere around there 9 a.m. so we have a gap of a few hours that we got to play with so it's the, uh, we're trying to get that that good meal and then try to hold that meal th uh, uh, throughout um, until pre-judging. So if I see myself starting to fade, I need to give my body some, some calories. No more carbs, but just something to, to hold that conditioning uh, the rest of the way through. So it's, it's almost like a balancing act the rest of the, the, rest of the way. And... Uh, you see, I'm, exha I'm exhausted from the day, um, and and hope for the best uh, tomorrow. Um, I looked extremely crazy this morning, and as the day started going, I started fading, fading, fading. Uh, I had that carb meal. My my body came back to life, and then we'll see where it's at in the morning uh, from there. And uh, I'm just waiting for my last meal. It's gonna contain some whole eggs, some bacon some uh, steak and that's about it. And maybe some, I think some peanut butter's in there too. So just a protein fat meal before bed. And uh, I'll be up early to get a tan. <clears throat> I wash off this tan, go back at 6 a.m. to get tanned. And then the fun begins before we jump on stage. But uh, I appreciate all the love that's coming across all, all social media platforms too. Uh, all the good luck wishes from everybody. And um, you know, I, I'm glad that I'm doing this and I'm here with my, my BFF, my partner in crime. She's trying to hide. Where is she? I know. <laughs> where, I know you're not where is she? <laughs> <laughs> I know that She's over here. She's the, we, we've literally been watching the Food Network the entire time that we're here. Um, it's not even torture. Some, most people, they think it's, it's torturous. It's really not. It's not. I think it's, I think it's very soothing. It's their it's, they're good shows. They're good shows. That's what I think. I don't know. I think they're good shows. Plus, Bobby Flay's a fucking badass. So. He is. I'm hungry again. God damn it. I just sat down. I know. You're you're on your own. Sorry, babe. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> God damn you. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat eventually, and hopefully she falls asleep before I get up to go eat. Cause then I then I have to make her something to eat, and then I'm going to sleep. Cause I'm beat the fuck up. Until tomorrow.